That's just an example of how to use the sine sum and difference formulas. We also have cosine. We know that cosine of alpha plus or minus beta equals cosine alpha times cosine beta minus or plus sine alpha sine beta. Meaning, if we have cosine of one angle plus another, this equals cosine of the first angle times cosine of the second angle minus sine of the first angle, sine of the second angle. And if we have cosine of one angle minus another, this equals cosine of the first angle, cosine of the second angle, plus sine of the first angle times sine of the second angle. So here, our plus and minuses are flipped. And our last formula is tangent. Tangent of alpha plus or minus beta is going to be equal to tangent alpha plus or minus tangent beta all over 1 minus plus tan alpha tan beta, which gives us these two equations. Tan of alpha plus beta ends up being tan alpha plus tan beta all over 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. And then tan of alpha minus beta equals tan alpha minus tan beta all over 1 plus tan alpha tan beta. So again, we got to be careful about what's happening with the plus or minuses. All right, let's look at an example. Solve the fo following problems with the unit circle. Do not use your calculator, just use your unit circle. Go ahead, try these on your own first. When you're ready, resume the video and watch the solutions. Cosine of 75. This is going to be similar to what we did with sine of 75. We're going to break apart the 75 into cosine of 30 plus 45. So here is our alpha and our beta. This is going to equal cosine 30 times cosine 45 minus cosine or sine 30 sine 45. We remember from before that cosine of 30 is going to be, there we go, rad 3 over 2. Cosine of 45 is rad 2 over 2. Sine 30 is 1 half, and sine 45 is rad 2 over 2. Thus we get rad 6 over 4 minus rad 2 over 4, which equals rad 6 minus rad 2 all over 4. And that is our final answer. If you want to give me the decimal equivalent, I'm more than all right with that, but I definitely need to see this work. So if you'd rather work it out and get the decimal at the very end, we can plug in rad 6 minus rad 2, all divided by 4, which is 0.259. All right, how about this example? Determine the exact value of sine 80 cosine 20 minus cosine 80 sine 20. Okay, so take a moment, look at this, and look at how this might be similar to one of your sum difference formulas. Try to figure out the answer on your own first. If you can't, then resume the video and check the solution. All right, so this should actually put you in mind of the sum and difference formula for sine. And we see that this is what would happen if you had sine of 80 degrees minus 20 degrees, which is equal to sine of 60 degrees. And we can go to our unit circle and see that sine of 60 degrees is rad 3 over 2. And that's it.